Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to install one of these smart doorbells. I'm Sarah, and this is Travis. We've moved seven times in the last six years and are currently renovating our third house with our three boys and our old English sheepdog. Follow along as we renovate our house and raise our boys. That's him. Subscribe and join us on our next adventure. This one's by, how do you say that, Yuffie? I think Yuffie. Yuffie? I think it's... I think it's Yuffie. E-U-F-Y. Whatever that company, however they say their name. Anyway, uh, the reason I chose this camera was because this is a hundred-ish dollar camera. Maybe it was like 120-ish or something like that. Um, but no monthly subscription. It has a little... Uh, has a little SD card in it, and so it actually stores all the video on itself, but it also connects to your phone, so your phone, through Wi-Fi, has all the same videos stored on it that this would have. So that's how it is a non-cloud, non-subscription doorbell, uh, which I hate paying monthly payments on anything, so that's why we went with this one. Um, I'm going to show you how to install this real quick, and we also have a camera from Yuffie. As a side note, by the way, this SD card, you can just erase it on your phone, so you never have to get into this or anything like that. Um, I don't know. I think it's a pretty slick system. Anyway, we also have a camera we're going to install on the side of our house. You know, we just found that we're getting so famous on YouTube that we're having to have security. I mean, we had a, we have to like keep the crowds off of our front grass to like keep our stick. grass alive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we gotta keep people back with sticks. They're trying to get us so much. No, I'm just teasing. We have like 600 subscribers, but uh, we're just being a little paranoid. We had a package not get delivered. And two Sarah packages. Had, yeah, two packages. Sarah was convinced they were stolen. Turns out they just weren't delivered. No, well, so. well, it's debatable. <laughs> no, there's still no, convinced. No, no. <laughs> so anyway, Sarah is getting paranoid, which means I have to do more work. Anyway, I'm just teasing. So, let me show you how to install this. Okay, you so see your first step, I've jumped the gun a little bit on you guys. Your first step is to test that your doorbell is working, because you need these, these wires here to have power to them. Once you know that's working, you gotta go inside and shut off the power. Now this is low, low voltage, so I'm not worried about it. If, uh, if they touch, it rings the doorbell. So, uh, I, I'm not seeing any big worry here, personally. But I am not, not an electrician. Not an electrician. Um, so anyway, I didn't shut the power off. So your next step, remove doorbell. And I've added on these little extenders. That's because my wires were in there were so short. And you can see how they're just wire nutted extenders. This came with the... I need to figure out how you say this. <laughs> this came with the Eufy uh, doorbell. Uh, all on the kit, so super easy, super simple. Okay, the next step before you install the camera onto those wires is to go inside to your existing doorbell, whatever is making making the noise inside your house. You have to install a provided wire that jumps the power uh, around that doorbell. So you can't have your existing doorbell work with this system. That The reason is, is because that existing doorbell will draw too much power from the system and it needs all the power to run everything it's got going on with it. So let's go inside and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I've already made my connection here. This is how my doorbell used to look without this black wire. These were just connected here. This is a jumper, so now the power goes right through here. I don't, it's a little over my head, but somehow that gives more power to the system. And it makes this not work anymore. Oh shoot. What? I just dropped the screw. Let me go see if I can find it. Now the next step, again in the provided stuff, 
is this 40, actually it's probably like a 30-ish degree uh, bracket. So it turns your camera from pointing straight on, which in our scenario, you'd catch about 50% of the screen would catch this brick wall. So we need this little adapter here to put it on an angle so we can catch our angled sidewalk here. So next step is to mount this guy. Uh, again, I'm gonna use my adapter here. Dang it. Again? A different piece. <laughs> So first you want your angled piece if necessary. And then this is the bracket that the camera actually clips to. Now it's easy on mine. I just have a wood siding here that I can just drill a screw into. On yours, if you have brick or something like that, you might have to drill first and then do some sort of a, like anchor, but that's not hard to do either. Okay, now my bracket is mounted on. On the back of this is two uh, ports, I guess you'd call it. Um, just connected one wire to one, one to the other. It is not directional, does not matter. So I'm just gonna tuck these wires in. Okay. String the doorbell. That's plugged in now. Now the last step is you have your other side of this kit is the doorbell. It just plugs into an outlet in your house. You just pick a spot to plug that into and then on the app you can in, you can run through all the settings and do the install and it's super easy. It took me, I don't even know what, like 15 minutes. So that's it. That one's all done. Now we'll show you how to install the camera. Now the Eufy camera. Again, it has a SIM card in here, so it stores all the data on this and through Wi-Fi to your phone through the app. No subscription. Uh, I think it was like 100, 120 bucks. It was for for both of these cameras. I was uh, I was I think I was about 250 ish. But anyway, you can hop on there and order from wherever. Uh, the way this camera works for mounting it is this is just magnetized. Kind of a cool, easy to direct mounting position. This metal clip you're seeing on the back side here, that is for the wire to have a, a placement. So when this is held tight, it looks like that. The other thing is that the bracket just has a single screw that'll mount into the wall and then this magnetic piece just sticks to it. So a super, super simple install. Um, it has about, I don't know, a 20-ish foot cord. So you're going to have to drill a hole into your house to run the power wire or uh, in this case it's into my garage and uh, then I'll just use some caulk to fill in that hole when I'm all done. So I'm going to start by drilling my wire hole and then I'll mount this guy and it should be a really easy quick install. I love you too. I was Good job. What's Winston doing? Ooh, good job. So right now I'm just trying to feed this plugged in cord into the hole. And I'm gonna mount this bracket here. Just trying to wrap, wrap that wire. Okay, that is the camera mounted right there. And now I just need to run some wires, add some caulk, 
and plug it in. So I'm just hitting a couple nails in in the studs just to help hold this wire up. Hardest part of the job right there. Okay, unswitched. So those two have power all the time. So it should be working. Let's go inside and pull this up on my phone and see what it looks like. Okay, so I followed the step-by-step -step instructions on the app. I had to connect it to Wi-Fi, um, press a little button on the back of the camera to, to turn it on, I guess, to alert it. And now it's working. That is a live feed. So another couple of cool features of this. So not only is it motion sensitive, and they have pretty cool technology to, to tell the difference between, say, a dog and a, and a person, but you can push and hold to talk through it, you can turn on a light. Uh, you can do snap screenshots. You can re manually record and watch this. So this is a live feed with Winston right there. Winston, come! <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe.